Dear students, in this class, we are going to study transmission coefficient, standing wave and standing wave ratio. The first topic of the class is transmission coefficient. The transmission coefficient is a measure of how much of an electromagnetic wave passes through a surface or an optical element. Transmission coefficient is the ratio of the transmitted voltage to the incident voltage. A transmission coefficient describes the amplitude, intensity or total power of a transmitted wave relative to an incident wave. Consider a wave traveling through a transmission line with a step in impedance from load to characteristic impedance. When the wave transitions through the impedance step, a portion of the wave will be reflected back to the source. Because the voltage on a transmission line is always the sum of the forward and reflected wave at that point, then the amplitude of the forward wave must be sum of the two waves, that is 1 plus reflection coefficient. 1 is amplitude of the incident wave, reflection coefficient is the amplitude of the reflection coefficient. Figure shows the transmission of power along a transmission line where PIN, PINC is the incident power, PREF is the reflected power, PTR is the transmitted power, Z0 is the characteristic impedance and Z del is the load impedance. To find out the equation of the transmission coefficient, consider the length of the transmission line is L. Let the traveling waves at the receiving end is given by equation 1. That's the sum of the incident wave and the reflected wave is equal to the transmitted wave. Equation 1 can be written as in the equation 2. Equation 2 is the current equation of the traveling waves at the receiving end. It's the incident wave, reflected wave and the transmitted wave at the load end. We will get the reflection coefficient coefficient at the load end by multiplying the ZL to the equation 2 and substitution of the result in equation 1. This we will see how we will get the reflection coefficient. Multiplying by ZL to the equation 2 V plus divided by Z0 to the power minus gamma L minus V minus divided by Z naught e to the power gamma L into into Z del into Z del. is equal to VTR divided by Z del e to the power minus gamma L into multiply with the Z del. Simplify the equation V plus divided by e to the power divided by Z naught e to the power minus gamma L minus V minus divided by Z naught e to the power gamma L into Z del is equal to VTR e to the power minus gamma L equation A. This equation should, sub, sub, should submit to the equation, substitute to the equation 1. After substitution, equation 1 becomes V plus e to the power minus gamma L plus V minus e to the power gamma L is equal to Z del by Z naught into V plus 
e to the power minus gamma l minus v minus e to the power gamma l z not for the simplify above equation e to the power minus gamma l plus z not b minus e to the power gamma l is equal to z l b plus e to the power minus gamma l minus b minus e to the power gamma l into z l now z not b minus e to the power gamma l left hand side sorry right hand side b minus e to the power gamma l into z l will be more to the left hand side b minus e to the power gamma l into z l is equal to z l v plus e to the power minus gamma l minus z not v plus e to the power minus gamma l therefore z not plus z l into v minus e to the power gamma l is equal to z del minus z not is equal to into v plus e to the power minus gamma l so this equation becomes v minus e to the power gamma l divided by v plus e to the power minus gamma l is equal to z l minus z not is equal to z l plus z not nothing but reflection coefficient at load end in terms of the impedances z l is a load impedance z not is the characteristic impedance v plus is the v plus and v minus are the complex quantities of the amplitude incident and reflected amplitudes vtr is the amplitude of the transmitted voltage now divide the equation 1 by v plus e to the power minus gamma l and substitute the equation 3 into the resultant equation of 1 we will get the equation number 4 that is the transmission coefficient equation firstly we have to divide the equation number 1 by v plus e to the power minus gamma l we will get 1 plus v minus e to the power gamma l divided by v plus e to the power minus gamma l which is equal to vtr divided by v plus substitute the equation 3 into equation b so that's why we will get we will get 1 plus gamma L reflection coefficient at the load end, that is v minus e to the power gamma L divided by v plus e to the power minus gamma L, which is equal to v t r plus v plus. What is this? v t r divided by v plus is transmission coefficient. Transmission coefficient is the ratio of the transmitted voltage to the incident voltage. so transmission coefficient is the 
amplitude of the forward wave must be sum of the two waves that is the sum of the incident and the reflection coefficient waves for substitute the reflection coefficient equation in terms of impedances then we will get transmission coefficient equation so t equal to transmission coefficient notation t equal to del plus z not so plus z del minus z not divided by z del plus z not the remaining terms are 2 z del divided by z del plus z not equation number 4 that is transmission coefficient the power carried by the two waves in the side of the incident and the reflected wave equation is given in the equation number 5. The power carried to the load by the transmitted wave equation is given in the equation number 6. Now equal the equation number 5 and the equation number 6. We get VTR e to the power minus alpha L square divided by 2 ZL is equal to V plus e to the power minus alpha L square divided by 2 Z naught minus V minus e to the power alpha L square divided by 2 Z naught equation number C divide equation number C by V plus e to the power minus alpha L square equation number C becomes VTR divided by V plus whole square which is equal to z del by z naught one minus v minus e to the power alpha l divided by v plus e to the power minus alpha l square as we know that vtr divided by v plus is the transmission coefficient which we have seen in the previous slide so square of the transmission coefficient is equal to z del divided by z naught into 1 plus v minus e to the power alpha l divided by v plus e to the power minus alpha l is the reflection coefficient. Reflection coefficient is the ratio of the reflected voltage to the incident voltage at receiving end. This is the equation. Square of the transmission line equation, square of the transmission coefficient equation.